All right, welcome to the Handicap Only League product overview. I'd like to touch on the highlights of what the Handicap Only League feature in Golf League Tracker does and how easy it is to set up and get going. Um, the Handicap Only League, as it implies, is for you to keep track of handicaps for your players. That's versus the standard league product, which does things like scheduling, um, sub requests, um, points calculation, standings, um, and a whole bunch of statistics based on the scores that you have entered for your golf league. Um, the main difference in the in the subscription is that with the handicap only league, you can enter as many scores as you want for the season, whereas the standard league is limited to 30 rounds or 60 rounds if you purchase the extended league option. Um, so once you sign up under the handicap only league, I'm logged in as administrator. You'll do things, you'll go through the initial league setup. You'll want to enter your league officer contacts. Um, you can enter your player list one by one, or you can use the import function and check out my other videos on how to import um, players and scores to get you quickly set up. Uh, and then you'll want to enter your courses that you're going to play. Courses aren't absolutely necessary, but if you want to be able to calculate course handicaps, which you generally would if you're keeping track of handicaps for your, your golf league, um, you'll want to enter your course information with the proper tee boxes, the rating, slope, and par, and that allows Golf League Tracker to use the handicapping rules to calculate um, the player's course handicap or the player handicap, otherwise known as, from their course uh, from their handicap index. And with any of these in the administration section, you'll see a little camera icon and you can click on those and it will jump right into the um, into the help video for that particular section. Uh, you'll also want to change your league settings for the handicap settings so they're configured for your league. Golf League Tracker supports the 2020 World Handicap System formula. It supports the old USGA formula, or you can go and configure it and customize it based on your league settings. Some leagues might only take the last eight scores. Maybe they take the top six out of the eight, um, base it on par, base it on the course rating. All those things are configurable within the Golf League Tracker settings. And then finally, you can change your homepage layout to display different things to your players when they log in. In the league info section, you can do things like change your league name. You can view the email log if you're sending emails to your players. Uh, the default email log will keep track of the last seven days of logs, and you have an optional upgrade to have unlimited email logging for the season. I also have a photo gallery option. You can upload pictures. The trial photo gallery uh, allows you to add three photos into your league just for trial sake and then there's an optional upgrade if you want to upload more than three images to your league and then there's other things that you can do is keep track of player payments to the league maybe league dues for instance um, you can enter league news that appear on the home page your rules go up here you can have links to other websites and coming soon this is not available yet but you'll be able to upload league documents to the site. Maybe you have a sign up form, for instance. So once your league setup is done, I have players entered, I have my courses entered. Um, I'm going to come over here to weekly admin, and there's a couple different ways you can enter scores at league, as league administrator. You can go to manage scores and enter them one by one. So you'd click add score, choose your player, choose the course, or enter the course name and tee box info manually. Much easier if you enter your courses ahead of time and then you can just pick your course, pick the tee box the player played and enter their score. Um, or if everybody played on one day, I can go back here to enter scores for multiple players. I can choose a date and then choose the course. If you're a nine hole league, you'll choose either the front or back side. I'll create my score entry sheet and then I can go and enter the scores for whoever played. Every player is listed here, both regular and subs. 
and um, with their default tee box chosen, but you can change the tee box if necessary. Maybe they maybe they switched the tee box up on you when they they played their round. So you'll just enter the scores, click save, and then we can view them when done. And there's our scores entered um, for those players. Once those scores are entered, you'd want to calculate handicaps, and you can do that either through this link here, or if you're at the weekly admin menu, you can click on update handicaps. And then you just click the Calculate Player Handicaps button. And yes, and it just takes a second to update everybody. Now, once your handicaps are updated, if you're going to go play around, you'll generally want to see what the course handicap is for that player. And you can use the course handicap player list or the player matrix report to pull up the course handicap for the player. So you'll just pick the course you're playing, Get Report, and it will calculate the course handicap based on their assigned tee box for that course for both the front and back if you're a nine hole league or for the total 18 holes if you're an 18 hole league. Now with all these reports, you can click on this little hamburger menu, what they call, because it kind of looks like a hamburger, and choose export. And this will dump the file to a CSV file that can be imported into Excel and that will allow you to manipulate the um, report any way you see fit. So that's a real quick overview of the Handicap Only League. Um, the Handicap Only League subscription runs between January 1st and December 31st, and you're required to renew at the start of the year to be able to continue entering scores for your league. Check out the pricing page for current pricing information on the league fees and optional upgrades that are available. If you have any questions, give me a shout at support at golfleaguetracker.com or go on golfleaguetracker.com and use the email form to contact me. Have a great day.